It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Oh, why, hello there. Excuse me while I get ready to drive. Try a little reverse action. Ooh See that? That's why you got driving gloves, baby. That's a stop sign. Well, as you may be able to tell, excuse me while I get the window. As you may be able to see, we are back in the vehicular manslaughter. Uh, it's a beauty day out. I'm craving shawarma. I said in a previous car video, the uh, one where I went to Arby's, that I've been craving sort of that style of food, like a shawarma or like Greek or something like that, right? And uh, I didn't even know if my city had a shawarma place. So I hit the old Google machine and it turns out we have one shawarma spot and it looks pretty good. Uh, I'll say this. I've deduced why I'm craving shawarma, and that's because I just realized I haven't eaten it since I lived in Toronto because I've never known that the shawarma existed here in my super white Canadian city, small town. Not the most cultural, we'll call it, I guess. Anyways, uh, fun fact about that is I didn't even know what a shawarma or a falafel sandwich or anything like that was until I moved to Toronto, in which case I was introduced to said items and got heavily addicted. I love tahini, like the, the sauce, the, the, the rotisserie meats, you know, the kebab, the kefta, okay, all of it. So uh, that's my mission right now, as you may well see. And uh, maybe I'll flip the camera around and give you a little driving segment, and then we're gonna be eating. Okay, eating and chat. As per usual, locked in the goods, but I'm gonna actually take us to a rendezvous point, AKA makeout point. That's what you do on the side of town when you get some food and you're gonna eat your car. You always go to the spot, spot and look over the city. I showed you this in the winter time. It's gonna be much nicer now. So let's go there, get these uncorked and <laughs> see how they taste. Cause I'm really excited. They look pretty good when they're coming together and have a little view over the city. Okay, let's go. Makeout Point, aka Hillcrest Park, <laughs> is what it's really called. And that right there is a landmass, otherwise known as Nanabiju in the original terms, but now known as the Sleeping Giant. And this is the park. And we're parked. And we gotta eat. All right, y'all, we are parked. I got hot and heavy uh, hitters on each side of me right now. Probably going to look in and be like, why is this guy talking to himself in a camera eating food? But these are the things sometimes in this life you just got to do what you got to do. Pay no mind and realize that these people are going to go on and live the rest of their lives today. And they're not even going to think about that guy who is talking to himself eating on camera in a car. So, you know, just don't, don't let it get too in your head. But uh, that being said, beautiful fall day. 
uh, in Canada here before all the snow comes, but this is the best time of year, 100%. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm just ready and jazzed to get to a shawarma because I just realized I haven't had one in like a year and a half. So I'm treating myself with a little Stewart's cream soda, orange creamsicle type drink. So that's a little different for me today. Changing the game on that. And then of course, we gotta get to the point. Straight up, I'm liking this white bag. Very, very uh, nice, a little different. And uh, the checkered paper, classic. So one's chicken, one's beef. Beef here, he marked them for me. Beef and chicken. So let's do this properly. You leave one end contained to some degree. This is the pro move. A half rip. Just, just a top exposure. And then you got the drip bib. Okay. I'm going in chicken first. So he cut it off the rotisserie and then he grilled it off on the thing. That's what I was talking about in the Arby's video. That's kind of the meat that I wanted, but we're going to achieve that here. I told the guy, I'm like, first time trying your place. Uh, I didn't even know I could find shawarma here. I said I used to live in Toronto and I got addicted to them. And he told me, young man, you are going to really enjoy that. Trust me. So. Mm-hmm. I have to bet that first bite. First and second bite, killing it. Sauce is amazing, seasoning is amazing. Pickle, tomato, lettuce. Mm. That white sauce. Crushing. Question Is the deep cam the better cam, or is like the up close mouth cam low key like a crave cam? Mm. Onion. Just definitely got onion. It holds up to some some that I've had in Toronto. It's good. Uh, there's just a few places in Toronto that are st stupid good, though. Uh, namely, Gazale, G H A Z E L E. If anybody is watching this video and have is either going to Toronto, been in Toronto, live in Toronto, whatever and you like shawarmas, hit up Gazale, or let me know down below if you've had Gazale, or I don't even know how you say it, but. Extremely banging. All right. I'm parched. Let's try a Stewart. Treat myself with some, some full sugar today. Wow, that is a delicious soda. I used to low key like creamsicles. Used to like freak me out when I was younger. I just I, I didn't understand the vibe. And in my older age, I gave them a shot. And I was like, oh, 
man, I've been missing out on cream sodas very, very heavily. Or not cream sodas, uh, cream skulls. Super, super good. A little heads up for you here in like a day or two. I'll be having a uh, Thanksgiving spread plate. I'll just say this. My palate needed a break off Thanksgiving today. I was thinking about doing leftovers. But I've eaten, I had two dinners. Like I had one with my dad and stepmom and step siblings. And then the very next day, yesterday, I had a whole other dinner with my sisters and my mom. So, I'm just turkey stuffing, mashed potato out. I need my palate. Cleanse my palate. For a day. And then hit up a, a leftover Thanksgiving plate tomorrow. Next, we got a roll into it as beef boy. Same concept on the beef. All the things, pickles, onions, tomatoes, lettuce, everything. Just beef here. Immediately, this one has a different element in it. Seems like it's got like some pickled onions that the chicken one didn't have. If you're detecting any dog hairs on my sweater, because after my dinner last night, I was deep in the couch cuddles with my fur niece, aka my sister's dog. I'm sure you guys have seen her all over my Instagram. Just a sucker for her cuteness. She's my fur niece because she's my, my niece made of fur. But she's also like a little furnace. All hot. When you're, when you're in the cuddles. That's definitely one thing hard for me to reconcile. In myself, like, I'm such a clean freak. That dog hair stresses me out. Love dogs. But strictly for that reason, I just don't even know if I could ever have one. If I were to get one, I would get a something hypoallergenic with like real hair that doesn't shed. That would have to be the play. I say I think I like. Is this one better? This one is good. 
I think the chicken's just a little better though. Each 10 bucks, $20 total. That's pretty standard for a shawarma in Canada. Shawarmas are usually a little bit on the expensive side. I literally just got rolled up on by an SUV packed full of five like 90 year old ladies in masks doing the damn thing. I'm certain they probably think I'm a maniac. But I don't care. Mm -hmm. These two are coasting me right into perfectly full town. Not, not gutted, not hurting, just perfectly full. I love it when it happens. This thing's stupid. Oh my god. Alright, well that's that. That serves as today's little food escapade. Like I said, I just had to fulfill that insane shawarma craving. Begs the question, I wonder if there's any other places around, like in this town that have, have them, but I think it's just the one. I could be wrong though. I didn't do extensive research, but uh, I think it might just be the one. I would definitely go back though, for sure. But anyways, let me know about your views on shawarma down below. If you like them or not. What your favorite kind is. And uh, until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.